Today we are doing everyday dough bowls. Today we're starting with this European dough bowl that I have from Amazon and I really love the rustic style to it. And then the thing with dough bowls is that they're not flat. So I like to use these risers sometimes to keep pieces in there that will stay flat. These are some candle holders that I purchased at a consignment shop after Christmas, but um, up maybe about a month ago, I'm going to say. And we're just going to set those in there like that. And then I'm going to take some greenery. Now, this is an everyday look. Certainly this look you could use at Christmas time also because the candlestick holders do kind of look like trumpets. I would probably put some ribbon on them, tie that around the neck, and that would dress it up more for Christmas. This is more of just an everyday winter look. I'm trying to add these larger pieces of greenery. I did have these in here at Christmas time, but I just ended up feeling like they were too bulky and a lot larger scale than the candles. So I ended up taking them out and then I ended up using my ferns that I purchased. Or, uh, they're not ferns, they're cedar, I'm sorry. I have these cedar pieces that I purchased off of Amazon. They came 40 in a pack, I believe, if I remember that correctly. And I will link these in the description box for you below, that's below this video, because they are really great to use as fillers for all sorts of decorating needs and they really weren't too expensive either. Next, we're going to take some vintage books. I've been collecting these in blues and greens. I hope to collect more of these. I don't have quite as many as I would like, but I'm still going to do a dough bowl with these. They're only two or three or four dollars a piece. None of them were under or over 10, I should say. And I enjoy collecting the different colors and using them to decorate with. It's an inexpensive way to decorate. have a little trouble styling my beads. I don't know about you. I could use some thin book ends and I could use a few more books, but I think for improvising here, this is okay. 
So for this one, I've decided to do a kitchen style dough bowl. I purchased this rolling pin also at the consignment shop, the same one I got the candles and some of the books from, and I wanted to use it, so I thought I would do a kitchen theme here. Next, I have this new dough bowl I purchased off of Amazon also, and it's just a little cute little white one, so we're going to do a few fun things with this. First, I'm going to start with these ornaments that I purchased before Christmas time. I purchased these at one of those, um, I want to say it's like a those stores where a lot of people who um, craft, they kind of all pull together and put all their things in the same store. This is where I purchased these items, and even though they are Christmas ornaments, they're kind of a mercury glass look, and they're a gray neutral, and I really felt like they would be okay for any time. So that is how I styled that. And then now the second idea here, I found this candle at the Dollar Tree, and I thought, oh my gosh, this was at the Dollar Tree. It's such a cute little candle. Just gonna place that in there, and then we're just gonna stick these beads in here next to it, and just kind of get those situated. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny little pine cone, and there you have it for this one. Light the candle, and that is done. Next, I found this soap also at the Dollar Tree. This is a vanilla rose scent, and you could use this to pile some soap in in your bathroom. Be another good idea. Here is the um, box for that. These smell so good. They're just so delightful. And I think that makes a nice idea for the small dough bowl also. You can also just use it just to store things. Like I just threw some of my pretty ribbon in here, and you could use it for storage. And it also looks nice in this dough bowl. So these are a few ideas I have today. I have many more. I will probably do another video soon. I also have some DIYs coming up. I've been waiting on some things to come in the mail. So if you like my DIYs, I will be doing some of those coming soon. Here are two more videos for you in case you're interested. Thank you so much for watching today. As always, I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.